Welcome all to Gran Turismo Sport. Uh, <clears throat> today, I decided to try something different. So the race I've done already, which is uh, Campaign, GT League, Professional, Professional League, and then Nostalgic uh, 79. The race I'm talking about is the Old Le Mans. Uh, in the Ford Mark IV race car. So let's jump to the truck. <coughs> My dog is going crazy. So the difference will be uh, that I'll be switching off ABS as that car didn't have ABS at the time in 1979. So ABS is off and the car is set to 100-100. So even though it's fully tuned, uh, I'll be using the default settings for it. Soft tires, let's try it. Oh, <clears throat> I forgot about the gloves just not comfortable to drive without them. So a uh, quick short break so I can put them on. And okay, and I can continue. And not the best beginning, so let's just try to restart it. So braking with, without ABS requires uh, a different setup for my... That car doesn't have power. There we go. A bit better now. So I had to make the load cell much, much harder. Otherwise I was locking the wheels really quickly. So now we're driving as it's meant to be. Uh, no ABS, no traction control. Oh, just the way those cars were uh, designed and built and raced by the some crazy guys in those times. Around 30 jumps per hour. That's what I was able to reach. That's 8th position, still almost 20 seconds to the first one. The car isn't uh, tuned, so have no advantage. Quite a huge uh, speed difference between the slower 19, pre-1719 cars. Okay, so I think uh, I made a mistake and I made that uh, pedal a bit too hard. Let me just check if I haven't changed any settings. Okay. Let's go. So, no ABS. Well, all the helps off, as it meant to be in the car from 1979. And of course, H stick.
I lock the wheels a little bit there. Not a big deal. Fourth gear and the last one. Ford, Ma Ford Mark IV. That's a four gear manual gearbox. Let's get some slipstream. 329 and it's dropping. Oh, this one is much slower. Almost 20 seconds after the first one. Quite a busy on the. That's Ferrari. I think it was a bit slower because it got stuck behind us two cars I uh, overtook a bit earlier. That was uh, quite nice on the outside. Ford GT4, uh, Ford GT. Oh, is it GT40? Oh, is it? Yeah, that's GT40. Uh, third, still 13 seconds to the first one, quite a big gap. Just below 10 seconds. We're closing to the Porsche turns and then there will be uh, four chicanes. And I'll be finishing the first of, out of the two laps. Okay, a better exit than he had. And what will happen now? Okay, I have, I have uh, enough gap to go to the left. What will happen now? AI will get a boost. So even though I was uh, able to catch them quite swiftly in just one lap, uh, I won't be able to drive away now. Or I would be really surprised if I can, because usually AI gets a boost in a situation like that. So it's three seconds uh, at the exit, oh no, sorry, at the entrance to the Mulsanne straight, four seconds. Still growing, I'm, I'm quite surprised. I was expecting it to go down. And here we go, it's going down. So I'm expecting to have around one second before the Porsche turns for curves. They will be catching up quite quickly now with the boost. seven and still dropping.
a last few corners and it will be done without any helps. And the worst, the worst part is driving without ABS in that game. It's so easy to lock the wheels in Gran Turismo Sport without ABS. And here we go. Uh, and the nostalgic 79 Le Mans without any helps. Uh, as it should be in a car like that. A bit surprised that the Ferraris were behind the Jaguars. Okay, so I haven't done any other races in the nostalgic category or tier. However, however we want to call it, uh, Monza. So I think I can try to do all of them, starting with Monza. Yeah, this is pretty much the only car which uh, which qualifies that that has no chance. I could look into buying other cars, but they're so expensive. Uh, at least those which actually have any chance of winning. Okay, I'll be trying the same setup, so 100, 100, no, no upgrade, structure control off and ABS off. Though I have no idea where to start braking in that car. Oh, this is the old Monza. Okay, no chicane. Should have been the first gear, I guess. I'm kind of trying to guess where to, where on the track and you know when to start braking, at what point of that, uh, before that corner. Uh, first of all, I have no idea because I've never driven that car on the race track. In addition to that, without ABS, it's so much harder to find the proper moment, the right point. So it's a lot of a uh, guessing game. Okay, so this this monster is quite strange. It's kind of without the first chicane, but at the same time uh, without the oval. I don't know if I can uh, drive full, thro full throttle at the corner, but I won't be taking the risk. As a Ferrari. Thanks for hitting me. That was the second time the AI hit me in the same corner. Pretty ignorant. Oh, that was such a mistake. I upshifted to four and reducing to downshifting to second. Jack is just next to me. Okay, 
Okay, I'm in front. Just, just. <laughs> I had a feeling I was breaking too late and uh, downshifting to second at higher refs. They were too high for the gear, it caused the spin. Well, it wasn't the spin, but it was caused the slide. Okay, it's P2, three seconds to the first one and uh, three more laps. That Ferrari was catching up really quickly. Quite interesting because uh, that Ferrari started breaking much later and I already saw him in my left mirror, but then uh, it backed off uh, or backed out. I should have said. Okay, so that's the first one, just below a second. But I'm pretty sure that as soon as I'm, uh, as soon as I will overtake him, uh, he will get a boost. Ferrari sounds quite nice, actually. He's still on the left? No, he's behind me now, okay. I think I got used to driving uh, without ABS with the old cars. It feels quite well, actually. I'm still not sure about the next corner if I can drive full throttle there, and I don't think I'll be taking the risk. Maybe I could, I don't know. I locked the wheels a little bit during the braking. Surprisingly, I'm still... No, I was gaining, I'm losing it now. They're gaining super fast, they just dropped one second and they're still getting closer and closer. Seeing how uh, I was so much faster when I was behind in terms of even the speed on straight, suddenly they having like 50 more horsepower than what they had when I was behind. the final lap, uh, 1.4 seconds, but it's dropping again. Not sure if it's going to be enough. Wow! I missed the gear twice here. 
That's such a huge loss of time. That was still enough, good. That was quite a big mistake at the exit of the Ascari. Uh, for some reason the upshift didn't work twice, uh, but it was still, it's, it is still a win. A win is a win and it was a clean race, cool. I'm rebuilding my cash reserve, so I spent 20 million on that car. Uh, so I really need to get some more to buy some different cars. There is quite a lot of cars I'm missing for the campaign itself. Uh, oh, that's what I hate. Is, uh, we have three, four, five more real trucks and two, uh, Two fantasy trucks, so let's get rid of that fantasy truck. The same car, I don't have anything else available to me. Okay, so that's going to be the same setup, so no ABS. As it's pre ABS era car, 100 100, no upgrades, soft, soft, and traction control off. And the truck, I don't know, uh, which is uh, extra difficulty, actually covers the map, which doesn't help with those fantastic trucks. Oh, that was a brutal attack. I think I remember now this uh, racetrack up to around this moment. I know that this is a second gear left-hander. And from that point, I think it was the corner where I felt, right? So I cannot go too fast here. Okay, so that's kind of slow, slow right-hander. And then I don't remember what's next. I think this is full throttle here, maybe not, I don't know, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, so that's full throttle here after that slower right-hander, and that's a braking here. Second gear probably, right? Yeah, second gear is right. Not sure about those corners. I think they are low third gear succession okay cool that wasn't too bad and now this is the last corner I think wow okay I was breaking way too early okay and then we start the second lap That could have been a second gear, probably would have a better exit, a better acceleration out of it. That's the 
crazy corner, right? We shall uh, fight and sub. Yeah, I think it does here. I know I'm kind of slow, but yeah, I'm not sure about this corner. I still don't know that. Don't remember all of them. Space here, I think it is. This is the full throttle one, right? Okay, cool. So this is the series of left, right, corners on the third gear if I remember correctly and then there will be a final straight to the final corner and then the start finish straight, yeah? Okay, cool. Not bad, not bad. Simon, yeah, I was good, thank you very much. Uh, quite busy with work and family stuff, so... Yeah, the same here. I haven't been playing much. I pretty much only play over the weekends now. I don't have time during the weekdays. So I try to enjoy the games whenever I can. But uh, with some major projects running at the moment, there's really not time to play any other days than weekends. Yeah, I switched to Gran Turismo for a little bit. Just try to, I'm trying to finish it before switching to Gran Turismo 7. Yeah, it's quite a good game, especially when you play with those older cars and you oh, switch off all the helps. Uh, it kind of gets interesting when you switch off ABS. It is quite trivial with it, but it becomes much better without it. Oh man, this is such a good game, dear Trelli. You should stream it. Dear Trelli is great to watch if someone else plays. It's also so hard. It is, it is. Whenever I play Dirt 2, and I don't play a lot of Dirt, I played it without the uh, visual signs, so I have to listen to what the pilot tells me. It's so hard. Like, I, I cannot imagine how those real rally drivers can do that. Driving so fast in such a hard conditions and listening to, to what the pilot tells them, it's crazy. Or co-driver, right? It's, I think it's called co-driver. I'm too slow in those corners here. I don't know them, don't understand them yet.
I think Finland is the fastest rally, right? That has to be crazy hard. I've never tried Finland in dirt too. Yeah, that's the that's the Finland for you, of oh, Finland. Stop. I tried to play the um, career in Dirt 2 uh, and I think it starts with some... It starts with, in South, South America, right? With one of those uh, rallies. I remember it was one... Maybe it was Portugal? I don't remember which was the first one, but it was really hard without the handbrake. And I decided to postpone it till I buy the handbrake. So once I will have a handbrake, I'll come back to it. Argentina, yes. I couldn't do it without a handbrake. So many harp hairpins there. It's it's crazy, crazy really, really hard for me. So man, respect for for going for dear to career because yeah, it requires some skill. <laughs> okay, so another one done. I have one more fantasy truck, which is this uh, Sardinia. And I want to get rid of it. I hate I hate the fantasy trucks. I'm saying it every single time I have to drive on the fantasy truck because I simply don't know them. So the same setup, no ABS, hundred hundred 
traction control off. No helps. And it's so easy to lock the wheels there as well, from what I can see. So I have to start braking earlier before coming to that left hander before the right hander. Like an idiot. But the first corner is fast, but it's not full throttle one, at least not in this car. This one slowed really, really. More than expected. Okay, that's the hard part. So I need to start braking earlier here. Second gear, first gear. Okay, that was better. Just in front of me. That's the last corner, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, that was first lap, and kind of. I think I remember the racetrack now, more or less. fast in the right hander Fast on the clutch. Release the clutch too early. And it was a miss, miss shift. Sorry, mate. I didn't want to that.
corner. Uh, let me just catch up with what you wrote. Uh, Lancia Fulvia. Yeah, that's I think what I was starting with. And uh, it was fun car to drive, just that first Argentine are really hard. 58 meters elevation change, that's quite a lot. But it's fun. It's the same with the race trucks. I don't like the flat race trucks. Uh, like Spa uh, is a great race truck because of the elevation change. Anything which is flat is just boring. Brands are just great because of that. All wheel drive is okay, but the rear wheel drive, yeah, that's hard. That's really hard. Six seconds still to the first one. I'm breaking a bit too early here. But I'm still not used to, to braking without uh, ABS. Congratulations. Yeah, that's a great result. Couldn't be any better, right? <laughs> P1. Ah, oh, I locked the wheels. Managed to avoid the wall. But I'm still really bad with that particular part of that racetrack. Oh, so you can upgrade the cars there, you see? That's something I didn't know as well. Yeah, I promised myself that once I have a handbrake, I'll come back to, uh, to the dirt rally. Hopefully I'll be done with the Gran Turismo by then. I definitely want to try the Gran Turismo 7. But I want to get the Platinum on the Gran Turismo Sport first. And I came really late to Gran Turismo Sport. I started the whole campaign uh, probably two months ago. So the first tour of I uh, focused on were the one to win 93 races online and get the 65 pole positions online. I've done them in around a month. So now I can focus on the kind of fun aspect of the game. So the campaign in Gran Turismo Sport is really bad and really boring. But still, I want to finish it. It comes as a package of the game, I guess. I think this is the first time I actually managed to negotiate that corner quite right. With the whole braking. Whoa! Okay, so the truck gets quite narrow there. And luckily there is no damage in this game or I would be out of this race. <laughs> that was such a huge mistake. And this is just a lap and a half before the end of the race. I better fix it quickly. Okay, that's the final lap, and I still have uh, two guys to overtake. And that Ferrari is fast. Okay. That was nice attack.
Okay, he makes a mistake. And it costs him uh, his P2 position. So I have to remember not to drive too close to left hand side because that was a horrible mistake on the previous lap. That should be enough of advantage to deliver the first position. He's catching up. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm done with the fantasy trucks. All the other trucks are, are real racing trucks.